Loving father, famous husband, master of cringe. Whether you love him or hate him, you can't deny that Richard Madeley is, at the very least, entertaining as hell. Hello and welcome to Watch Mojo UK. Today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 ultra awkward Richard Madeley moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at notorious blunders and faux pas from Richard's ever unpredictable TV career. Caution, this video contains scenes of an awkward nature. Number 10, getting his own riddle wrong, the right stuff. During his stint on this daytime TV staple, Maidley sets riddles for the audience to solve over the break. Brothers and sisters have I none, but Batman's father is my father's son. So who was I talking about? Although this particular puzzle wasn't the most straightforward of conundrums, it's the way in which he conducts himself during this cock-up that makes it so awkward. First off, he tells the studio audience members who got it right that they're wrong. Grandfather, no. No, that's... Son, no. Then he tells his producer, the one who probably set the question, that they're wrong too. He's not pointing at his son. After he's proven incorrect, he playfully shrugs it off, much to the room's amusement. Let's agree that they're both right. <laughs> 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 Number nine, shaming the parents of an anorexic teenager. Good morning, Britain. Maidley often stands in for Piers Morgan on this ITV morning show, but this definitely doesn't mean that the cringeworthy moments are on pause. I'm too far, and as we know, I don't like to move much, so um, <laughs> I'll just wave at you from over here. In a hold my beer moment, Judy's other half took the torch of awkwardness from Morgan in spectacular fashion. During an interview with journalist Mark Austin and his daughter about his struggles with anorexia, Austin reveals how he didn't notice the signs. I'll say this, I probably would have clocked it. Completely lacking in tact, Maidley responds by saying if it were his daughter, then he would have noticed, leaving both of his guests understandably baffled. You've been really honest, Mark. I mean, really, you mm. know, sort of self-critical and said, you totally screwed up. Number 8, trying to outsmart Darren Brown, Richard and Judy. Anyone who's watched Darren in action knows that there isn't any fooling him. Well, um, oh, really? little cold shivers up and down the spine. I need to sit down. Come on, sit down. Can I sit down again? Um, yep. <clears throat> However, it appears our friend Richard didn't get the memo, attempting to play the illusionist at his own game. Well, I'd like to spring something on you now. You know this is live, obviously. In rather smug and ultra awkward fashion, he tries to pull the old which hand is the coin in trick. Thinking he was super smart by pulling the oldest trick in the book, Maidley didn't actually have it in any of his hands. Either I don't know, or you haven't got it in either. You haven't got it in either hand, have you? <laughs> Unsurprisingly, Darren foiled him straight away, though, leaving him with egg on his face and fifty pounds down. Chris, you meanie! <laughs> no, he plays tricks on. No, Congratulations! Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. <laughs> How the hell did you read that? God. Number seven, headbutting a kid on live TV. This morning, Snowy the donkey <laughs> was being very naughty. Ah, Christmas. What a time of year to be a child. The presents, the songs, the incoming head of Richard Madeley. In a moment that more resembles an infamous episode of Knowing Me, Knowing You with Alan Partridge, an on-form Madeley dressed as a wise man during a live nativity sequence decides to demonstrate the actions of a badly behaved donkey by butting heads with an unsuspecting child. And so he came down and went... <laughs> Although the kid seems to take it in good spirit, it was a bizarre moment even by Maidley's unique standards. Number six, telling the nation his daughter was an accident. Good morning, Britain. I didn't set out to have a daughter who was one of my best friends, if not my, my absolute best friend. King of the embarrassing dads, it is no secret that the irresponsible Richard has a tried and tested talent for being blunt and to the point. His poor daughter Chloe, whom he had already embarrassed countless times in the public eye before, not least on Loose Women,
could certainly testify to that. And, and are you more protective of, of Chloe than you would be with Jack? You no. know, the, the father-daughter uh, thing. Do you know Chloe? As is Richard's style, this particular GMB moment rests on an unnecessary piece of information that Chloe probably didn't appreciate her dad blurting out on live TV for the sake of panning out his own narrative. But it's just classic maidly. And then Julie got pregnant very quickly again. It was an accident. Um, and, uh, sorry, Chloe, but it's you were, and you know it. Number five, creeping out Lucy Verasimi. Good morning, Britain. To another off-the-cuff calamity. During a conversation between GMB co-host Susanna Reid and weather reporter Lucy Verasimi about her denim dress and its potential unsuitability in the rain, Richard chimes in with this highly inappropriate comment. Easy. I think we should pop out at once and just, um, <laughs> just know, test it out. Just test it Thanks out, yeah. That, Richard. An unsuitable remark for society in general, he goes and gives it out on live TV. And what makes this moment even worse is that his creepy comment was immediately followed by this link. Still to come on the show, including our forthcoming debate on whether the Me Too movement is about to ruin sexy romantic novels. There's a time and place, Richard, and that's never. Number four, getting an answer out of Gavin Williamson. Good morning, Britain. No, sorry, can you answer the question? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm sure you do want to pay tribute to them. We all... No, no, Mr. Williamson. I asked you a straight question. This face off with the Tory politician, complete with wandering elephants in the background, was certainly explosive. Much like his previous row with cycling UK spokesperson Duncan Dullimore. God! Stop playing games. The question is really simple. The elephant in the room, however, was Williamson telling Moscow to go away and shut up after Russia denied its involvement in the 2018 Salisbury Niv agent attack. And so, Maidley's repeated question was whether or not he regretted these words. Do you regret using very casual Trump-esque language like shut up and go away? In true politician style, Williamson avoided answering the question over and over again, before Maidley boiled over and ruthlessly cut off the entire interview. Good luck with the, the African Elephant uh, Project. That is an excellent thing to do, but um, it would be helpful if you answered a straight question with a straight answer. Number three, excruciating antics with Anton Deck. Anton Deck's Saturday Night Takeaway. Everybody's favorite pair of TV Geordies are known for making famous people do silly things. Enter Richard Maidley. So Richard, can you hear us? Okay, P loud and clear. Richard was invited to take part in the Get Out Of Me Ear section, an especially popular segment on this particularly popular show. For the prank, he was placed in a meeting with a series of photographers, but was told exactly what to do and say by Anton Deck. I'm prepared to do topless. <laughs> I'm, I'm prepared to do topless, if that's what you... <laughs> no, really, I am. I'm prepared to do topless. Yeah. Of course, Richard was made to look extremely foolish, which was the idea, but he managed to steal the show, putting on a hilarious performance. Full front Maidley, just shouted. Full you know, you know. frontal Maidley! He even made up a song about clothes in the process. <laughs> oh, yes. Make you feel damn cool. Number two, getting straddled by Shaken Stevens. Calendar goes pop. This entry is exactly how it sounds. You're, you're known really for this old style rock and roll. Why? No, no, why I'm, I'm, I'm basic. No, no, I'm a, I'm 1980s act. During an already disastrous interview with the singer of Merry Christmas Everyone, a very young looking Richard Maidley was quite literally sprung upon by a hyperactive Shaken Stevens. All the while, the rock band status quo watched on. And let's not finish this with an argument. <laughs> <laughs> Stevens, who in fairness got some pretty good air from a sitting position, wasn't done after just one ambush either. Let's get out with his latest single. <laughs> it's from an album called Marie Marie. <laughs> The pair have since met up again on Richard and Judy to amicably recall the event, but one has to wonder how genuine that handshake was. Again, yeah. It's makeup, boys. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's come on, children. Makeup. Number one, the Ali G impression. This morning. And we did the first take we did just before the show went on air. I couldn't. I, I mean, I couldn't do it anyway. But I really couldn't do it. I sounded Welsh. This moment is a benchmark for all things cringe. 
After being mocked by the Sun newspaper in 2000 for never changing his hairstyle, they came up with a list of possible new looks for him, with one of them being, you guessed it, Sasha Baron Cohen's comedy character Ali G. In response, Richard comes onto the set, complete with full yellow tracksuit and fake goatee, not just looking like Ali G, but speaking like him as well. Now, Judy, when you was presenting with Richard, what does your real husband think? Richard, you are my real husband. Of course, Judy was mortified, safe in the knowledge that this moment would go down in British telly history. Is it okay if I, Ali, does the show with you today? Uh, what, looking like that? I'm afraid not. Is it because I's black? Oh. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.